I want to call off my wedding because my fiance is embarrassed about my culture. I'm 26 years old and I'm getting married to my husband, 28. I'm from a small village and moved to the U.S. five years ago. That's important because in such a short amount of time, I'm not assimilated to the U.S. culture and I'm still very involved in mine. When I met my husband, a few weeks into us dating, he told me he was going to marry me. As a joke, but I told him how marriage works in my culture and he praised how beautiful it was. Fast forward now. We agreed on doing two weddings, one of my culture and the other an American wedding. In my village, when you get married, both spouses get a gold bangle sort of thing. It's equivalent to a wedding ring. It's molded on your wrist and can't come off unless you use like a saw or something like that. During my traditional wedding, I received a gift of these fruits I ate back home and are truly my favorite, but haven't been able to find them in the U.S. My husband jokes about how he was not looking forward to smelling that every day, which is fine because I hate the smell of sausage, but it's something he loves. I stayed back home for a week because I had missed it and my husband came home early to prepare for the American wedding. I came home Monday but didn't see my husband since he had work and by the time he finished, I was sleeping. We had dinner last night and I saw that he didn't have his bangle and he told me he thought it was just for the party. I explained to him again how important it is to me and he said that I couldn't seriously expect him to wear it all the time. I asked him why not and he told me it made him look unprofessional. I got upset with him and left. He ended up calling me to explain how it holds no cultural significance to him. I rebutted asking him if he would sign with me not wearing a wedding ring as it holds no cultural significance to me. He got a bit upset and gave me a lecture on how if we were in my country he'd wear it. I feel so turned off and uninterested in this relationship that I'm thinking of calling off the wedding. Small edit. He did know he would have to wear it permanently. We talked about this in the early stages of us dating and several times leading up to now when I've had family members get married and when he proposed. Also, he works from home with occasional in-person meetings. And then someone asked, how did your husband remove his bangle? He went to a shop and they cut it off. Am I wrong for yelling at my pregnant sister-in-law and telling my husband to choose between me or her? So I, 29 female, have been married to my husband for 8 years. About 2 months ago, I had my third miscarriage, 31 weeks. I won't be talking about it because it makes me feel so depressed, but you'll need to remember this. About 4 months ago, my sister-in-law, 20, came crying at our doorstep telling us she's pregnant and her boyfriend didn't want anything to do with the pregnancy and had nowhere to go. My husband and I openly took her in, welcomed her into our home with open arms. For the first few weeks, it was really hard for her understandably. I sat with her for hours, holding her when she cried, binging our favorite TV shows, eating so much ice cream we quite literally fell into a coma. It was really bonding for us, so I thought. Here's where it starts going downhill. I take pride in my neat, clean home. My sister-in-law, on the other hand, did not. She would leave her clothes all around the house, leave her dirty dishes wherever, even went as far as leaving her sex toys on our living room table. I tried to talk to her directly before I talked to my husband. She immediately started crying and told me she would try to be cleaner. I hugged her, told her it was okay, but this is a clear boundary for me. She told me it won't happen again, but it only got worse. She told me that I was expected to do her laundry, dishes, and clean her room daily because she's the pregnant one. Well, I do understand how hard it is being pregnant. I just couldn't allow feeling like a maid in my own home. Disclaimer, I bought this house, not my husband. It was all me. Not to mention my recent loss of my child. So I told my husband, but what he told me shocked me. His exact words were, Honey, she's going through a lot right now. We really should be helping her out. Plus, it might make you feel better to take care of someone who's pregnant. I was pissed to say the least. Make me feel better? She's going through a lot? We need to help her? Letting her stay with us wasn't enough? While I don't want to invalidate her pain, my husband and I were also going through our own problems. Anyways, we moved on. I did my best to maintain work and the household chores. My husband works from 7 to 7, so he isn't around much to help. I work full-time from home, so it's been super stressful. When I ever try to ask for help for my sister-in-law, she always makes an excuse, even if she's just watching TV. The one thing that pushed me over the edge, I went out to buy one food that I have actually enjoyed eating after my miscarriage. I wrote my name on it and directly asked my sister-in-law to not eat it. Well, I went to go to my fridge to get it, and you'll never guess, she freaking ate it. Now you may think it's just food. I buy all of the groceries, basically pay all of the bills. I don't mind people having some of my food, but the one thing I ask to not be touched gets touched. I told my husband and of course he rubbed it into my face that she's pregnant. I needed to be less selfish and life is all about sacrifices. I was so upset I told him I felt like him and her were the horrible roommates people talk about on Reddit. It didn't take that well. Which leads us to my title. My sister-in-law planned a random baby shower party thing at my house. I personally didn't know if I could even be home when this was happening. I felt so hurt that she wouldn't talk to me knowing everything that has happened and that she would just invite random strangers into another person's home before asking. 
My husband urged me to go, told him it would permanently affect mine and her relationship, so I told him I'd go. About halfway through the party, my husband and sister-in-law announced that they wanted to show the nursery to everyone. I was confused. Nursery? She was staying that long? What room did she turn into a nursery? They told everyone to head upstairs, and that's when it hit me. They were talking about my nursery for my baby I had just lost. A wave of emotions hit me when I saw everyone in my baby's nursery telling her what a good job they did setting it up. My setup for my baby that my body failed to give me. I just lost it. I started sobbing, then the sadness turned into pure rage. I started yelling at my sister-in-law, telling her she's the foulest human for putting me through everything she has for the last few months, making me feel like I was a maid or an object for her convenience. Through choked up tears, I turned to my husband whose jaw was on the floor. I turned my head to see his entire family just staring at me. I lost it again. Yelling, I looked at my sister-in-law telling her, how dare she use my nursery for my baby? How dare she think she has the right? What she told me made me fall to my knees sobbing. It's not my fault you couldn't produce a child. Why let this go to waste? You're so selfish. My husband tried to pick me up off the floor, but I yelled again, standing to my knees, which were now shaking. I told him, pick. A dumbfound look on his face. I yelled again, pick me or her. Couldn't even muster up anything to say. I just looked at him, pure betrayal. I pushed past the crowd of family and ran straight up here to type this out. Even if no one sees this, at least it's helped me to let these emotions out. Now's the point where I ask, am I the asshole? Am I too high maintenance for asking my husband to do something for my birthday instead of going out drinking with my friends while I stay and watch our baby? For some background, we've been married for five years and each year it's always been the same story. I always plan to select my gifts for my birthday and anniversary. I do this because if I don't, he won't do anything, which has happened in the past multiple times. When we were dating, he used to do all the planning. This has been a cause of multiple arguments where I've expressed how important these dates are to me and I would like a meal together, not cooked by me, a cake and a small gift. We've even compromised that we would do the planning together and he could pick whatever thing he would like to eat or do, but that also ended with me doing everything the day before since he kept saying he was too busy. As we live far away from friends and family, it's been hard for me to do anything fun since getting pregnant and having a baby. So I told him I was really looking forward to my birthday this year and wanted to relax and get drunk for the first First time since two years. I reminded him to please do something for my birthday and watch the baby. Some friends of mine that live far away came to visit us and stay during my birthday week. During their visit, my friends and I planned tourist things and got a hotel. On the day of my birthday, we were having a good time being tourists. The plan was that once we check into the hotel, one of my friends or my husband would watch the baby while I went out with everyone else to drink. However, since my friends were already in party mode by the time that we got to our hotel, they weren't in any condition to take care of the baby. So, my husband said that we can just take turns going out and taking care of the baby. As you can guess, I took care of the baby all night while they were drinking. In my husband's defense, he did tell me happy birthday that day, but there was no gift or cake like I asked. Outside of events, he's great at home since he's an introvert and helps with the baby when he's not too busy with work. I love my husband and we get along well with everything else. After my friends left, I talked to him about it, how he hurt my feelings and he said that he was too busy hosting to focus on me, so he would do something for me the week after. The week after, nothing happened, or the week after that. So, should I confront him about not paying attention to my birthday wishes after all this time has passed, or should I just let it go and just keep doing all the planning for the next birthday and anniversary? Am I wrong for telling my brother that he cannot raise his child in my house? I, 27 male, have had dreams of being a homeowner for as long as I can remember. I actually started saving when I was 18. I bought a three-bedroom, two-bath house three years ago, and while it's not the best, I'm beyond blessed to have my own house. To be able to come home and have everything exactly where I left it, be able to play video games all day and no one tell me otherwise, it feels like I'm free and in control of my own life, which is all I've ever wanted. Well, about a year ago, my older brother, 36 male, and his wife, 30 female, asked to move in with me because they can't afford it, but don't want to pay 2000 a month for an apartment. While I didn't want them here, I reluctantly agreed because I can't tell my own brother he can't live with me when I have two empty rooms in the house. Also knowing he would let me live with him if I ever asked and I was fortunate enough to have family to live with while I was saving to buy my house. I do not charge them rent or ask for anything but they do give 400 a month just to help out. The issue is my brother and his wife have been trying to conceive a child for a long time and are finally successful in doing so. Now they're expecting in a few months. While I'm extremely happy for them, I do not want them to live with me. I bought my house for me, not them. I did not sign up for my living room full with baby toys and having my gaming room turn into a kid's bedroom and did not sign up for my fridge to be full of milk for a kid. This leads to today where I had to ask them to move out before the birth of their child. They were both extremely offended and hurt that I told them. 
And my family also thinks it's wrong of me to ask them to find their own place when they're expecting a child. I would vote not wrong, and especially when you consider the fact that in the beginning, OP literally says they can definitely afford living on their own, they just don't want to pay it.